everyone, Dr. Devin Atkinson here. You've been told cholesterol is dangerous. You've been warned about it for decades. But today I wanna to flip that script because the truth is cholesterol isn't the villain, it's vital. My parents named me Devin, not Divine, so I can't perform miracles, but if I could, I'd get this myth out of your head once and for all. Let's break this down. First, cholesterol is not the enemy. It's a critical building block for your body. It's the raw material your body uses to make hormones, including testosterone and estrogen. So when cholesterol drops, guess what? So do your hormone levels. Now think about this. As we age, hormone production naturally declines. If you're on statins, which lower cholesterol levels, you're cutting off your body's ability to make the very hormones you desperately need to feel strong, energetic, mentally sharp, and even sexually functional. It gets worse. Your brain is made up of nearly 60% fat and about 25% of your body's total cholesterol is in your brain. Cholesterol helps brain cells communicate, repair, and function properly. So why are we shocked that since the introduction of statins in the late 1980s, Alzheimer's and cognitive decline have skyrocketed? Coincidence? I think not. We're literally starving the brain of its fuel source and calling it healthcare. Meanwhile, the medical system is focusing on lowering a number and increasing health. Statins lower cholesterol, sure, but they do not improve lifespan or health span. And they come with side effects like muscle pain, fatigue, and cognitive fog, and often get dismissed as normal aging. So what does matter for your heart? It's not your cholesterol number, it's your triglycerides and C-reactive protein. These are the real markers of inflammation, and inflammation is the fire at the root of most chronic diseases, including heart disease. You want to lower those markers? Here's how. Eat real food. Protein from beef, chicken, and fish. Load up on good fats, avocados, olive oil, coconut oil, ghee, and butter. Add organic fruits and vegetables, and ditch the grains, sugars, and processed carbs. They're feeding the inflammation, not fighting it. This isn't theory. This is what actually works in real bodies over time. Cholesterol isn't the problem. It's part of the solution. And if we don't wake up to that soon, we'll keep losing our minds, literally. Next week, I'm diving into how the medical system profits off keeping you sick. You don't want to miss it. And if you want real answers and real health solutions, reach out. I'm here to help.